Well, we're back, and uh, I have a panel of experts here that are really helping deconstruct what's happened here. Carrie is with us virtually, and um, if we can put the statement back up from uh, Kohlberger's family, the, the thing that, that jumps out to me about this is they talk about letting the process mm -hmm. do what it needs to do and not jumping to conclusions. But nowhere in there do they take a stand that say, we know our son and we know he didn't do this. Exactly. Yeah. And as a, as a father of two sons that I know intimately <laughs> from my, my heart, uh, the first words out of my mouth right. would be, you need to look somewhere else yeah. because yeah. I know Good my point. boy and my boy did not do this, could not do this, and they would have to prove me wrong. And this statement, I, I think they know there's something not right about this young man. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just telling you, psychologically speaking, does that bother anybody else? Yeah. Is, is yeah, anybody else know. surprised that these parents do not come out passionately yeah. and fervently yeah. and say, I stand by my son yeah. and I can tell you he is not capable of doing this. Never They're also him. hiding behind the legal process. Mm -hmm. It is a long process. There are a lot of evidentiary hearings. The evidence that's been gathered is going to be attacked by the defense. They're going to say, well, of course it was contaminated. How do you know it was Brian Koberger that he, that he was the actual killer? You have one drop of blood. I mean, they're going to, cry, to dissect every piece of evidence. And we know that, that it was a master class of investigation. That affidavit was phenomenal on all those levels. Those law enforcement officials did a phenomenal job gathering the evidence, but that's not going to stop the attacks. I think that probably you would expect, as you mentioned, Doc, this almost evangelical zeal when it's your boy. And, you know, you begin to think about this. He's going to shout it from the rooftops that this is not my son. The real tell here, though, moving forward, is to see if they remain muted where, you know, we just hear nothing whatsoever going forward with this process, if they're not going to make any more statements, again, that might go to this, this fact that you pointed out that something ain't right. You know, we don't, you know, the old song, you know, uh, behind closed doors, you don't know what's going on in that house. Right. Nobody right. does, right. you know. And so the, 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 the way things are communicated in a familial environment like this is odd. You can unpack this for days and days and days. We don't know what, what went on inside they of that They may have home. even seen that knife before. They very well might have. And boy, that would send know. a chill down your spine. I also want to point out, to kind of underscore your point here, the date of the statement. The date of the statement was the day after, or two days, it was two days after his arrest. So there's no emphatic declaration of his innocence before anyone, Brian Koberger and his family included, knew what the evidence was mm -hmm. in the probable cause right. affidavit mm -hmm. against him. So they're saying this knowing absolutely nothing well, that about have been the, the same case. after the affidavit. And I'm sure Carrie mm -hmm. can speak to this. You know, Carrie, I read your book and you did a reassessment of your relationship with your father in the days and weeks and years afterwards. And I'm sure this family immediately is reassessing their relationship with Brian and and kind of seeing what are the signs maybe he was a little strange that does kind of pique my interest but not knowing what he's accused of and Carrie not knowing what your father was accused of maybe that didn't stand out to you at the time mm -hmm. but in hindsight does and that's the difference between an apex predator like a somebody who abuses and physically abuses their spouse in front of people versus somebody who wants to kill and in secret and not get caught they will still present odd behaviors, but it right. may not be violent like uh, somebody who beats up somebody. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.